how we can make a start. We've just certainly got help here, but can you hear Alex? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Okay. Well, you find away, Alex. Off you go. Hi, Sean. Yeah, you. We only caught a brief bit of that answer before, but just your sort of thoughts and reflections on the on the game and the performance. Yeah, I was just saying, I thought overall it was a decent performance. Tough place to come today. It is generally, but obviously with the crowd back in, the energy in the stadium, um, you know, the, the noise and the feel of it. Um, and I thought the players handled that really well. I thought we gave a very good account of ourselves first half. Unfortunately, came in with a soft goal, um, certainly from our point of view, with the, the distances just being wrong and not stopping the cross. Um, and then, you know, we're going at half time in, in pretty good shape, actually. I thought the performance was good. As I said, I thought we should have had a penalty on Dwight McNeil, but we know our record for them. Um, and then second half, we started bright as well. The challenge is when you're 1-0 down, you, you know, you don't want to go two. And they scored, I think it was around 60 minutes. And then it's tough. You know, they had a, a good control of the game for a, a good bit then. Um, you know, we couldn't really break their rhythm as much. Um, and they grew from the 2-0 situation. And then we finished really strong, actually. So I was pleased with the mentality, that's for sure. You mentioned the phrase soft goal there, and it's, it's one you mentioned after Brighton as well. I, I guess just disappointed to concede in the money you did, given you know how, how tough it's going to be here. Well, it's slightly different with all due respect to Brighton, because you know, you're know you at Anfield playing against Liverpool and they're putting on subs like Firmino and, and the like, so Thiago. So I think they're, they're a pretty good outfit. So let's just be clear on that. Um, yeah, against Brighton, we had a soft, a soft kind of 10 minutes, which cost us, uh, but the performance yet again, you know, there has to be life in your performances. And I think there is with the performance of Brighton, there is today. We've got to tidy up the details, both ends actually, because we had chances again today um, and, and didn't quite find that, that killer moment, the pass, the finish. Um, but, you know, there's, uh, there's certainly the right energy and the right feel about the group at the minute. Um, you know, although we are limited in numbers once again, particularly today. Yeah, what's the latest on, on Ashley Westwood and, and Matt David Drinkstand, both, both injured, is that right? Um, um, would not expect it to be long. Um, we don't think they're too serious. Obviously, couldn't couldn't play them today. Um, so, we'll wait and see a report on them on Monday. You went with Ashley Barnes up front today, an area where you have got a bit of competition for, for places. Just what can you feel he can still offer at this level and, and how pleased were you with his particularly second half showing today? I was pleased with him all through the show and I thought he, he was a handful like he is. He's an awkward customer. He's, he's breaking the back line when he could. Um, it was margins between him and, and uh, J-Rod because J-Rod had done well last week. Uh, generally, I thought, um, you know, I like that competitive uh, sort of competitive feel of the front four, actually. It's just that Vid is injured. But I think they can mix. I think they can combine and blend. Um, and I think there was a, you know, certainly first 60 minutes or so, they got the second and I thought you know the, the two forwards worked well and, and particularly first half I thought they were a handful and I thought they gave us a, a good out um, when we needed it and last one from me the obligatory transfer window question you mentioned sort of shorter numbers again how disappointing challenging will it be if, if you're not able to bring somebody in between now and the end of the window well it's not necessarily disappointing because it's been life at Burnley ever since I've been here so you know that's always been a challenge um, you know, there, there is some uh, a financial situation that I think is, is slightly more open-minded, but we'll see. Um, it still has to be the right players. I've said all along, it's not about, you know, uh, the, the model is what it is. It's not, I don't think the, the ownership is going to rip it up. I think it's more a case of can we stretch it a little bit. But within that, you've still got to find the players. You've got to find the right players. There's only so many out there that fit in our model. Um, you know, the market doesn't care for our model. I've said it many, many times. Our model is a very good one in the Premier League. As a business, it's been very good, very challenging, but very good. But football doesn't care for that. Football doesn't judge you on whether your business model is good. It judges you on getting players out there who can win games. So we've got to keep working hard to find that balance and therefore get the players in when we can and the ones that can help us. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Alex. Thank Anybody out there can hear and has a question, please pipe up. I'm struggling to see anybody. If not, thanks, Alex. If you can share that, if you wouldn't mind with anybody, we're going to have to call it a day there because we've had no further assistance. But that's just a recap. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank Stay you. well. Scuffy, can you do what you can do? Yeah.